All right, let's go to him now. I apologize so sincerely for the delay. He is on Skype. He was in our co-main event. He is your victor. Mr. Alan Crowder is here. Hi, Alan. How are you? Hey, what's going on? Alan, I'm so sorry for keeping you delayed. I sincerely apologize. It's just hard to manage everything on a timely order. Thank you for all your understanding. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem at all. No problem at all. Wow, that is a crystal clear Skype connection. You're looking sharp over there. I <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's uh, first of all, let's get a health update. You took that vicious knee. We didn't hear from you after the fights. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine, man. I, uh, you know, the doctors wanted to stop the fight. You know, I feel like I probably could have kept on going. Um, you know, I mean, it caught me off guard. I was not expecting the knee to come for sure. Uh, but, you know, I feel like I'm all right. You know, I mean, I got to go see a neurologist and get cleared and everything, but I, I'm, I'll be good to go. So you have no headache? You didn't have one that day? No eye headache. trouble? I got oh, You did. I got a little headache, but that's about it. Okay, let's 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 talk us through the fight before we get to just the ending. The game plan was what? Weather a storm and then see what he really had. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, the goal was, you know, stay away from the right hand. You know, I mean, I knew that's that's basically what he had was the right hand. I wanted to stick away from that, and you know, and uh, you know. I switched up my stance. I went to a more of a, uh, a southpaw stance. You know what I mean? It helped me uh, move my right more. Um, I should have had my hands up a little bit higher. Like I probably could have avoided a couple shots um, if I had my hands up a little higher. Going into the second round, uh, you know, that, that's where I wanted to get him at. You know what I mean? I knew his cardio was down. He started throwing punches, and I could start seeing him coming, you know, really easily. Um, you know, and just kind of the goal was to get him on the ground. And, you know, I said on a previous interview, I want to get him on the ground. I want to bloody him up with elbows. And, uh, you know, that was the goal. That was the game plan. All right, so in the early far, part of the first round, he's a heavy hitter, yes? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, every heavyweight's a heavy hitter, though. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah, all of us are, you know? So, so um, heavy hitter, but nothing unusual. Yeah, yeah. I, I, was not, uh, I was not blown away by, you know, his power or anything. Um, he has some good shots. He does have a long reach. Um, you know, he's a very athletic guy. You know what I mean? I think with time, he could be a good fighter. Um, but it's going to be with time. You know what I mean? I think he needs, you know, another four or five fights. All right. So when did you feel him start to get slowed down? When did you realize, okay, I think the uh, initial storm is over. Uh, I would say probably about a minute and a half into the first round. You know what I mean? Once I got on top of him, I was feeling pretty comfortable. Um, you know, he had uh, a little better defense mm -hmm. on the ground than I thought he would have. Uh, but other than that, you know, I feel, uh, I feel like, um, probably about a minute and a half in. The takedown, you got it, uh, if not right away, pretty close to right away. And then you passed to Crucifix, if I'm not mistaken. It did seem there that there was a pretty big skill gap in your favor. Do you agree? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, definitely his work on his ground game. Um, you know, he ended up using the cage, I think, pushing me off. And, uh, you know, I made a couple mistakes, too. I had a little ring rust, you know what I mean? There was a lot of little things that going back and looking, I was like, man, I should have done this, I should have done this, I could have ended the fight there. Um, but you know, uh, you know, that's just part of the game, I guess. All right. So did you feel like you won the first round? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like I won the first round. Yeah. Okay. So then we head to the second. I mean, it is close. It is a close first round. You know what I mean? I get him yeah. probably the first minute and a half. And then, uh, you know, once I got on top, um, eventually I think he did get up and then, um, you know what I mean? I, I would say, I say it was a very close first round. I'd say maybe, uh, like a 10, nine score for me. Okay, fair enough. Then we move to the second, and there was this weird moment, man, where you were screaming at him. First of all, why were you screaming at him? Second, what were you saying? Uh, honestly, I, I was kind of hyped up in the moment, you know what I mean? I was basically just talking a lot of trash. Um, you know, the words I was saying, I don't really want to repeat. Uh, but basically, <laughs> I was just trying to get him to – I knew his punches were slow now, and uh, I knew they didn't have the power they had on before, so I was trying to get him to throw. I wanted to counter and take him to the ground or, or counter and catch him with a, you know, a big left hand uh, was the game plan um, from the second round. Uh, and I was just kind of getting, I was just trying to fire him up and get him to throw and, you know, so I could take advantage of it. Did he, re did he verbally respond ever? No, no, he never said anything. He actually uh, was very surprising. He stayed calm and, uh, you know, just kept backpedaling. Okay. So the sequence with the knee, you said you didn't know it was coming. You had one, for folks who may, I had people being like, why is it illegal? It's like, dude, it doesn't matter what the hands are doing if the knee is on the ground. If a knee is on the ground, it is, it, it, the hands can be both up, both down, one up, one down, does not matter. Did you feel like you were safe? And was that part of the reason why you were sort of postured in the way that you were? 
Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, what I expect him to do is I expect him to kind of come to the side and try to throw a big bomb right hand. And I was planning on ducking underneath and, and shooting in and getting my takedown. I knew once I got him on the ground, you know what I mean, that last time, that had been the end of the fight. Um, but then uh, the knee came out of nowhere and, and, and got me, you know what I mean, solid. Um, you know, it's just one of those things, I guess. So he had made a point. Yeah, he, he had made the point that he he thought you were getting up. He thought, oh, um, I'm going to need this guy as he gets to his feet. Were you trying to get to your feet? Uh, I mean, not really. I saw him. I saw him moving over to the side, and I was I was just waiting on him to throw that bomb. You know, I knew that you know with my knee down, he couldn't throw that knee uh, into my head. You know what I mean? So I was kind of you know really looking to avoid that. And then uh, you know, whenever he started going to the side, then the, the knee just came out of nowhere. So. Yeah. Did you feel it? Like a lot of times guys say when they get hit with a big shot like that, they don't even feel it until later. It's not like a, it's not like a liver punch or something. What, what, what yeah, how yeah, were you it, physically? It more stunned me. Yeah. It more stunned me than anything. Um, you know I mean? Uh, I fell back to my back. Um, and I, and I knew that, you know, he wasn't allowed to do that. Um, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna take, I was like, I'm gonna take a second. So I'm gonna get back over. We get to go. And then uh, the doctors come running in there, and they they immediately stop the fight and whatnot. Um, you know what I mean? They kept me back there in the back for like thirty minutes. You know what I mean? They had to sit there and talk to me, ask me a bunch of questions, and uh, you know a bunch of crap like that. Um, you know what I mean? I'm not excited with the uh, with the with the win. I don't feel like it's really a win. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, it is what it is. But do you? Uh, so, so you don't have any lost memory. You remember the knee and everything after it. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, that's a good sign. That's a much better sign. All right, I'm yeah. happy to hear that. Yeah. So, so then it says like you're not satisfied with the win, but you were doing really well. I mean, did you feel like if that had not happened, you were on your way to a perhaps a decision victory or something more? Oh yeah, no. I mean, I feel like if had that knee not hit me in the head, you know what I mean. I, I feel like I was going to get him back on the ground. You know what I mean. I still had more left in the tank, and uh, and I, I feel like I'd have got him on the ground, not to finish with the elbows like I planned on. You know, from the beginning. Uh, did you hear the crowd chanting for you and then calling him asshole? Uh, so I didn't hear that, but I know my my family and friends over there. They all told me that he was getting a very hard time. <laughs> yeah, that's putting it mildly. So, uh, okay, yeah. people have said, and I don't believe this, but you were there. Maybe you have a better idea. People have said that he was facing adversity and he threw that illegal knee on you because he wanted a way out. You buy that theory? I don't think he was looking for a way out. I think he just, I think it's more inexperienced. You know what I mean? He's not been doing this very long. You know what I mean? Uh, he, he stepped out to the side. I believe in his mind, he thought it was, he, I know he didn't know it was, he, I know he knew he's not allowed to throw that knee with me on the ground, but I think heated up in the, in the heat of the moment. You know what I mean? He just, you know what I mean? Forgot for a split second and threw that knee trying to get that finished. Um, and he just made a mistake, you know, another mistake of many mistakes that he makes. Um, but I, uh, you know, I, mean, I don't feel like he was trying to cop out of the fight. You know what I mean? Uh, he's a tough dude. And, um, you know, I, I, I think it's just an inexperienced kind of thing. So you, you mentioned, you think with some training, he can get better, but it looks like, yes, he's got big power. He is athletic to your point. He is training with a good team that these are all great, good things for his future. But it looked to me like on the ground, there was just some positional awareness issues that were a bit of a red flag. How far away is he from being what you would probably consider to be on your level? Uh, probably a couple of years. You know what I mean? Probably a couple of years, I would say. You know I mean, on the ground. You know what I mean? He's got heavy power. You know what I mean? You look at some of the guys in the heavyweight division, that's all you really need. You know what I mean? You can touch somebody's face and you put them to sleep. You know what I mean? You can get that win and you can go, you know, you can do big things. Um, you know what I mean? But as far as, you know, ground skill level, he's got a ways to go. Yeah. And and what about you? You got to get to a neurologist when? Today? Tomorrow? Uh, the UFC's got a call. They got to set it up. Um, hopefully sometime this week. Um, you know, I want to get back to my activities and stuff. Um, you know, I'm ready to start back. I want to, I want to start back training as soon as possible. You know what I mean? I got things to fix and, uh, you know, places to improve on in my game. And I plan on doing that as well. So, you know, as soon as I can get uh clear to go, I'd like to fight, you know, hopefully in April or May. what did the doctors tell you about taking it easy? Uh, they told me I'd be jumping around, you know what I mean? Take it really easy if I had any kind of pain. Any kind of nausea feeling or anything like that. Yesterday kind of sucked. But I woke up this morning and I, and I wasn't too bad. You know what I mean? I still have a slight headache, but uh, it's not nothing nothing serious. You, and are you at home? Can you fly? Yeah, yeah I've already flew. I'm already home. I'm actually at work right now. Um, it's just slow. Wow, look at you. Back on the job. What did the folks at the job say? 
Uh, well, I haven't really had anybody here this morning. I don't think they knew that I got back so quick. Um, you know what I mean? So I'm just, I'll am i see everybody tonight. We got class starts at 5 or at 6, actually. So, I mean, I'll go in and everybody come in and talk and ask questions and stuff. So should may, be a good time. May I ask what it is that you do? Uh, I actually own my own fitness facility. It's a New Millennium Martial Arts Conditioning. It's here in Medvin. Um, Anatomy of a Fighter, they actually covered me. A guy named Will Harris, he covered me. and He done a great story on it. You can oh. see it all on his videos and stuff. Yeah, that guy is tremendously talented. You can catch his stuff on YouTube, right? Yeah, he does such a great job. It's it's unbelievable. I mean, he he showed you know the best sides of me, and I mean, he just he does a great job for sure. And your your uh, MMA or excuse me, your UFC experience has been kind of interesting. You had the great win in the Contender Series, fell short in your debut, but then you come back and you were looking pretty good in this one. And it's a weird DQ. You must be itching to get that first UFC win. That's like no controversy, uh, clear, uh, straightforward. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I want it so bad, you know what I mean? Like, I, I wanted this fight right here to go my way. You know, I had plans to get that knockout. I wanted that bonus, you know what I mean? Um, and then, you know, had the, you know what I mean? It's, I mean, a win's a win, you know what I mean? And I'm happy to have the win, but it's still, it's still, it's not that feeling, you know what I mean? I want that first UFC victory, you know what I mean? And uh, I want that clear cut, you know what I mean? Nobody can say anything about it. it it's my win, you know what I mean? And that's, yeah. that's the plan, you know what I mean? So as soon as I can get back in the ring and they set me up, I'm ready to roll. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Don't exercise until the doctors clear it because we want to make sure when we get you back, you're 100% and ready to go. And um, I hope this opportunity – I'll, I'll leave you on this. Did you get out of this opportunity what you, what you, what you wanted? I mean, the DQ kind of hurt things, but your name's out yeah. here and you got the win. I mean, I wanted to show that he wasn't ready for the UFC yet. You know what I mean? And I feel like I've done that. I feel like he you know, showed he wasn't experienced, showed that he still had some work to do on the ground. He's a strong guy. He got back up. You know, most people, when I get him on the ground, they don't get back up. Um, you know, but uh, I had suffered a knee injury, you know what I mean, about uh, 10 weeks, you know what I mean, out from, well, it's been about 12 weeks now. Um, but I actually had a second-degree tear in my MCL, so I didn't get to work my ground game the way I wanted to until really the last couple weeks. Um, but, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Uh I feel like I got out, you know what I mean? I got my name out there, you know what I mean? A lot of people know who I am now, and uh, that feels really good. My Instagram's skyrocketed, and you know, I've got like a thousand followers in the last day, which is awesome. Um, you know, I, I think it's going to set me up for a, for a better future for sure. Well, I hope, to, yeah, I hope to see it. Uh, get well soon. Thank you for making some time for us again. Sorry that there was a delay, but we appreciate the conversation just the same. Thank you, Alan. Yeah, it's awesome, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, there he goes, Alan Crowder, one of the – Hardest working men in the sport.